as far as I can remember back, there's always been music in the house. Um, my dad and all his his father and his father before him and everything were all fiddle players. Um, and there's a huge sort of folk songwriting tradition um, and my dad's from part of the family as well. Um, with my mother then they're all into, they're all piano players and again they're all singers so it was sort of unavoidable. Like <laughs> um, My first instrument was the violin. Um, I think I started when I was about four and just started um, getting sort of trad lessons from my dad for the first year and then went through the classical route for like 10 or 11 years. Um, did all that stuff, all the grades, and you know, then I was like, right, let's get out of this now, and started getting mad into jazz and blues, really, um, when I started college, and started getting mad into Grappelli and all that stuff, and that's what I like playing these days, so we'll see what happens next year, I could be into, <laughs> I don't know, something completely different. I started writing when I started playing the guitar when I was about 13, 14, I think. Um, I normally try to write um, songs that are all true if, if you will you know I find it very easy to write something if I've been off you know for the summer somewhere and traveling or you know they're all stories that are true <laughs> um, which people might like to hear or they might not <laughs> a, a lot of mad stuff going on in them but um, in regards to the lyrics and the the chords um, and the music they sort of come at the same time I think um, or you might have some sort of riff in your head and try to write lyrics on top of that or whatever. Um, but the majority of them, yeah, are just telling stories. I was all, always mad into reading though. I love reading and I love uh, stories. So I think that goes back to some sort of folk tradition in our family maybe. Just that, that I was immersed in, you know. Um, if I have a guitarist with me, I love playing blues on the violin and, and playing jazz and stuff. But if I'm by myself, I could just play slow airs for hours. Um, or even classical pieces that I sort of take out of the, the woodwork for over the last couple of years. So it really depends on the mood. I could never say for certain that I, you know, prefer a particular genre, but uh, there's definitely a lot of weird genres going around in my head, I think, <laughs> which is okay. I mean, I, f I find, it, particularly with jazz, maybe it really makes you think, you know, there's, there's a lot of genres that you just adore playing, but that you can always, you know, go for the note that, that is the obvious note. I find sometimes playing other genres of music that you can, you know, really expand or something. Um, and that's okay, and then at the same time it's nice to just play beautiful music and not have to worry about all that other stuff going on. For, for the, the jazz weekend I always get a quintet together. I had my own sort of quintet with it's four other really, really good musicians, four other guys, and then started this um, swing quartet thing, so just playing the music of Grappelli and Django, which is really, really fun. You know, just that really fast paced stuff that I, like my head was gonna explode at the end of it. Um, but it was great, like, and you know, it was totally, you know, you do a gig in the morning and it was all my own songs and, you know, sort of Aretha Franklin or whatever, those sort of covers and then went to this other world, if you will, which was uh, great, like, you know, put me nicely under pressure anyway for the weekend, so I was happy. And then the gigs throughout the rest of the year, it depends really, you know, it, whether we're doing it as a duo, or a trio, or as six piece, whatever else. Um, I know in the coming weeks I'm doing uh, a trio gig with this guy Dylan Howe on piano, he's absolutely amazing, and Martini on drums. So it'll be the three of us in Side and Charities. Uh, and yeah, I do a lot of, of gigs with Ashling Irwin on the harp. Um, we have a great time. So uh, we'll have to line a couple more of those up as well. I played the folk festival in the Spalpeen Fauna with my dad this year and it was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. That was really special actually. Yeah. You know, we, we did it like when I was like 14 um, and then we didn't. <laughs> so it was really, really nice to, uh, to go back to that and, you know, play tunes that he taught me years ago and uh, I played some of my new tunes and it was really, really special. Like, uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. I would have learned trad definitely from my dad and he learned it from um, people like Bobby Casey, you know, going to Milltown every year and they were all clear fiddlers really, a lot of them that he learned from. So I think I definitely have that, um, as far as I'm told, I have that style of playing um, because I, I, I don't play very fast. Um, but I think there's a lot of weird influences creeping in there as well with a lot of blues notes that shouldn't be there in the middle of reels like and stuff like that. That's okay. So I am recording an album at the moment, uh, yeah, with Christian Best. 
yeah, it's something I've wanted to do for years. Um, and I've been in college the last three years and up to my eyes, so I haven't had the time. Um, and I finished up this year. Um, and I have, you know, sort of nine tracks at the moment that I'm really happy with, I think. As happy as can be. Um, so I got onto Christian Best and we're, we started the bones of it anyway last week. So getting all the drums and bass down and taking it from there. Um, it looks like there's going to be about 10 or 11 people involved, which is great. Um, and yeah, I'm looking really forward to, to seeing what happens with it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going well so far. Music degree this year, yeah, yeah, music and Italian, yeah, in the uh, in UCC. So I said I'd take this year to do the album and take it from there. I've I've actually continued lessons with one of my my lecturers in there. He's this jazz guitarist, and um, Tomas Mackay is his name, and he's absolutely fantastic. And I go to him every two weeks. He's a, a tailor in Washington Street. That guy, he's great. Oh, he's I've never learned so much off off a person, um, which I'm absolutely enlightened by, <laughs> which is great. Um, but I think yeah, if if all the music colleges that we have in Cork could actually work together in some way. I know that that's the sort of cliche thing to say, but they're all missing something, in my opinion. It, it, like, in UCC, I think there should have been a lot more performing. In uh, the School of Music, there's maybe too much, you know, performing or too much of an emphasis on certain things. Um, I think if we could all just get one from the other and sort of put them together, um, God, we'd have a really unbeatable establishment, like, in, in the world. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it, it was a, it was a good three years. I, I met, you know, any of the people I'm playing with now I met through that course, so I'm forever grateful for that. You know? Yeah, I think it's it's one step at a time, really. Um, I mean, I'm just practicing away and trying to get better at certain things that, you know, I have some sort of list that I have every couple of months um, but it is sort of one thing at a time with, with this album anyway is a huge part um, of this year so to try get that first and then take it from there I think but I, yeah I'm, I'm very driven I think which is it can be good and bad <laughs>